Some patients that suffer from dementia get the disease very, uh, very early. So some of the early onset Alzheimer's disease patients, for example, actually have a familial uh, history. So they inherit one of these faulty gene defects that actually gives rise to Alzheimer's disease. Although this is a fraction of the people with Alzheimer's disease, it's very useful for us because actually we can take as a skin cells or other kinds of cells, reprogram those back into stem cells and turn them into brain cells. Once we have those cells in the laboratory, we can actually look what happens early on in the disease process. So before the cells die, as they do in Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative diseases, before they die, what happens? What leads to those cells dying? And with those cells from those patients, we can do that. So we're now looking, so um, both myself and many other researchers are generating these stem cells with patients that have these mutations that lead to early onset dementia and looking at how those mutations give the disease. Once we have those cells, what we can then do is not only understand how the disease occurs, but also we can use those cells to test new potential treatments such as new drugs and we can screen, the, screen drugs using these particular in vitro systems that we can generate.